So without taking much time, let's start. Today we have Silo with us and uh, she is engineering graduate. Okay. So welcome Silo. Uh, can you explain about yourself? Yes. First of all, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I myself, Guna Silo Narayan Kotluri. I have completed my BE in Computer Engineering from R&D Siagat School Engineering uh, with the aggregate CGPA of 7.89. I have done my schooling and 12th from Maharashtra itself. Uh, I'm coming to my technical skills, um, I know about Core Java in that I know about OOPS collections and uh, yeah, OOPS collections and coming and HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Uh, coming to my family, uh, we we are four members, including me itself. Yes, sir, that's it. How much you rate yourself out of one to ten? How much you rate yourself out of ten? Ten is highest, one is lowest, lowest. in core Java. Sir, so I rate myself seven. Seven? Okay, no problem. Uh, it's good to say nine also, ten also, provided you have studied very hard. Okay, and you are very perfect. Okay, do not say lower than five. Okay. That makes interviewer confidence down. Okay? okay, so he might not take interview. So a good digit you selected, that is seven, right? Yes. Great, no problem. Okay, so let me start with some basic questions. What are the access specifiers available in Java? There are four access specifiers available in Java. Those are public, protected, private, and default. Okay. What is encapsulation? So encapsulation means we bind a code and a data in a single specifier is called as an encapsulation. For mm -hmm. example, we can take a capsule and that we uh, we mixes a several uh, medicines medicines in a one one capsule. Mm -hmm. And so it is yeah, so that is encapsulation. Okay, okay. You know SQL also? Yes, sir. I know so SQL. overall I'll take some questions on SQL core java and then advanced java also okay yes. so i'll mix all of them so what is sql sql is a structured query language this the query language is used to store the databases using relational database the relational database it is called as sql mm -hmm. what is ddl dml dcl ddl is can you explain in detail yes. ddl is data definition language uh, in this data is defined by a particular uh, commands and the commands we use in this are cre create, alter and drop and uh, coming to DML, DML is a data manipulation language. In this we manipulate the data uh, by using three commands, insert, delete and update and coming to DCL, DCL is a data control language. Uh, in this we, in this we, uh, we have two commands. Uh, we, those commands are grant and revoke. Okay, great, great. That was very explanatory. Uh, what is primary key? So primary key, it is a primary key is primary key is a, a minimal set of an attribute uh, of a of a table. Uh, my primary when we use more more than when we use more than one or two primary keys, we need a um, uh, we need a more space uh, for that and the um, and primary key has a minimal value of 900 bytes okay i would expect in such questions uh, important points you should be talking like primary key means unique values unique and, values not, and not okay. no problem uh, what is difference between string string buffer and string builder so, so string is an immutable immutable class and string buffer and string builder are mutable class uh, string string buffer is an synchronized and it is uh, it is thread safe uh, we can call two methods uh, we can call two methods simultaneously in string buffer um, string buffer is less efficient than string builder uh, coming to string builder string builder is a synchronized it is not thread safe we can we can we can uh, we cannot call uh, two threads simultaneously in string builder and it is more efficient than string buffer okay what is string builder uh, string builder it is it is a asynchronized data and it is not a uh, it is not a thread safe okay. okay a string builder comes in 
JDK 1.5. Okay, after Java is become advanced. Okay, so that type string builder came and it is more uh, useful than the string buffer. buffer okay, yes. so remember that. Correct. Yes. Not a problem. Uh, next is like what is serialization? Uh, so serialization, it is a mechanism of writing a code. Uh, when we write a code, it from byte code it converts into object code, and uh, the and it is and the serialization is opposite of the serialization. Uh, in that uh, the code is written in an object, it converts to a byte form. 